Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a way of getting a bit creative with um, pixels, uh, sorry, pixelation and the Voronoi filter of all things. So let's start off. Take this picture, click on here, hit Control J to get ourselves a duplicate layer. Now if I go to Filters, Distort, down here is Pixelate. And already there's things you can do with this. So if you turn it up, see it goes very blocky, but if you stay down small, you can create little distortions which you can blend in and which have an interesting effect. But also if you go up to a certain level, it starts to look like one of those old um, computer games or something like that, where it's very it's clearly pixelated. And that in itself may be a useful creative thing. We could just leave it like that and use it in certain situations. As you move up, what it does is it takes in the middle of each square a point and then uses that color for everything else. So if I go up enough, look, there's a yellow appeared there. And if I turn this layer off, you can see it's because of the yellow flowers there. So we can then start to say, well, maybe we can blend this in. Let's just apply that. And we can literally go to the uh, blend modes here and just look down at what it does. And in, in, in already you're getting effects which can be interesting and useful in particular situations. So it's kind of creative. So you literally just drag down till you find one that kind of you like that suits your purpose. And you can say, well, let's just have that one for now. But you can also blur it. So, for example, I can go to the filters here and go to Gaussian Blur. Click Preserve Alpha and turn this up. So I'm going to blur those squares. So what you get is a kind of a blotching effect through the picture, which is again a creative effect. However, one of the dilemmas is if I want to change the size of the squares, I've got to undo everything and go back and change that all again. So I'm going to just delete this layer, hit Control J again to start from the beginning. And this time I'm going to go to the live filters here because on here you haven't got pixelate. There's no live pixelate filter. However, what there is, is this strange thing down here called Voronoi. When you click on this, you get something similar. So increase the cell size here. You can see what it is. It's it's like it's creating like a like a stained glass window effect. And we can make the lines thicker or thinner or not exist at all. But you can get to that same sort of position again. Now I can say uh, that's OK and click on this again. Put on a blur. And I can play with the blur as much as I like. I can go to the layer itself and change the blend mode to whatever. And but I can also then go back and play with those others. So the Voronoi filter, I can change the cell size. So it's either larger cells or smaller ones. And at any time I can hold on the alt key and, key and click on it to see what it's doing there. If you can't see exactly what that is, let's try just turning off the yeah, there we go. Turn off the, the Gaussian blur. Now you can see it. So we can vary those. And there you are. There's a couple of methods you can use. It's quite simple using either pixelation on the filters up here or the Voronoi filter in the live filters. Throw in a blur to you know soften the edges if you want to, or you can leave it as you will. So there's a very simple way of creating a sort of creative effect. See this one here, it even looks like you might be looking through a window that's got water all over it. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.